Well, five people who terrorized the Denver Metro in August of 2021 were sentenced this afternoon. The group pleaded guilty to different charges for crimes raging, ranging from carjacking and burglary to second degree murder. Denver Simmons Colette Bordelon was in the courtroom today where victims had the chance to tell their stories. Colette. Guys, that's why all of these sentencings happen today in the same courtroom and at the same time, because then victims don't have to share their stories five different times and be re-traumatized all over again. Now, these are the defendants who pled guilty to their roles in a series of crimes that include burglary, aggravated robbery, carjacking, assault, and killing an 18-year-old student at the Yeshiva Torres Chaim School. In court today, prosecutors ran through that long list of crimes and even showed video of the moments the group killed the student who was shot at in total more than 20 times. One of the victims who spoke to the court was the mother of a man who was beaten badly by the group and then shot as they left him on the ground. Her son is paralyzed from the waist down now. She believes the defendant should be in prison for as long as her son is confined to a wheelchair. And another victim who spoke to the court was attacked while dropping off his wife who had cancer at the time. He was hurt badly. And when speaking to the judge said his wife blamed herself for the attack until the day she died, even though it of course wasn't her fault. Now, the first defendant who was sentenced in court today did address everyone in the room. He said that obviously no one deserved what this group did to them, and he hoped that by pleading guilty, he was able to take away some of the hurt from victims and their loved ones. Those sentences have ranged from 65 years in prison to 30 years in prison. Right now, the courtroom is wrapping up with the last defendant out of those five. The judge said, of course, none of the sentences imposed will really take away any of that hurt or pain caused by these defendants, but he does hope that victims know that this part of their healing process is now over. Live in Denver, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Yeah, it's certainly a tragedy. Thank you, Colette.